What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are going to be diving into the Master League Classic for Pokemon Go Battle League. Now I personally haven't been able to compete in Master League since Go Battle League came out. I was able to do the Premier Cup for a little bit because I had stuff like Dragonite and Snorlax and what have you, but I haven't had the best legendary Pokemon until now. I decided to drop all of my rare candy into the best legendary Pokemon that I had. I had Melmetal for a while already, but I dropped dropped the dust and the candy on a hundo giratina origin right there and a mewtwo that was almost perfect i didn't want to power it up because i wanted to try to find a hundo but i figure a 15 15 14 is the best i was probably going to get so i decided to go with that this team is incredibly strong a lot of fun to use and right now in go battle league for a couple days we have 30 second switch clocks that means the switch clock timer has been cut in half previously it was 60 seconds now it is 30 seconds so you guys can already imagine the swaps that are going to be happening with a melmetal a giratina origin and a mewtwo it's incredibly fun i hope you guys are enjoying go battle league with this and remember it is going to be chaos for a couple days so this is probably not going to be the time to climb up 700 rating you guys may be able to do it but it's actual chaos out there from my battles today. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles. What do you guys think about that 30 second switch clock? And let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, what a fun morning diving into the Master League Classic with this team. So we got Melmetal here on the lead versus Giratina Origin. I do not like this matchup right here. So I'm going to swap straight into my own Giratina Origin and force them to kind of stay in this mirror match. They're also building up to Shadow Ball, so I have to respect that. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a shield right here. It is going to be an ominous wind shield bait, which is unfortunate. And they did not get the boost. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my own ominous wind here. Um, we're hoping to chunk down this Giratina Origin as much as I can. Um, and our switch clock's already back up. 30 seconds, already done. As you guys can see, this is going to be a roller coaster of battle. So buckle up. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're throwing another ominous wind right here. They are throwing another charge move themselves, so I'm going to go ahead and shield. If it's Shadow Ball, please be Shadow Ball. No, it was another Ominous Wind, which is unfortunate, but hopefully I can get to an Ominous Wind right here. But I decided to swap into Melmetal to catch the Ominous Wind from my opponent because they were one fast move ahead. So we're able to soak it right there, which is beautiful, and they are going to be bringing in a Kyogre. So Kyogre is a pretty nice cover um, to Melmetal and Mewtwo when I have basically no shields, right? The Surfs um, will really start to add up, and those Waterfalls as well switch clock is already back up guys so surf now coming through obviously we have no shield so we cannot stop this but i'm going to look to swap out right away so i'm going to go ahead and go back into giratina origin right here start loading up on energy and i'm going to go ahead and throw a shadow ball making sure that i do enough damage to take out the kyogre and have energy advantage versus their giratina origin that may come back in to try to farm me down so we will be able to get to an ominous wind in time we still have melmetal with some loaded energy and we still have a mewtwo they are unshielded and giratina origin is going to be going down switch clock is already back up so i'm going to swap straight into mewtwo and you guys know what's coming. This Melmetal needs to be able to get off three rock slides in order to take out my Mewtwo, which by that time I should be able to get to a Focus Blast, which is why I love running it. Here comes the Focus Blast. You guys love to see it. This team is all about it. Here we go. Boom! Takes out the Melmetal, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Man, this switch clock is so deadly. You guys got to be focused when you guys are doing your battles today. So we have Melmetal on the lead versus Kyogre. Obviously not a good matchup for us, so I'm going to go straight into Mewtwo on this one, and we will see a Togekiss come in. This is actually really nice for me, considering Togekiss can't get to a charge move very quickly. I can throw Psy Strikes, build up a lot of energy, and store some, and then swap back out into the Melmetal. Our switch clock is almost back up, so I'm going to go ahead and throw another Psy Strike right here. We are lagging a bit, which is unfortunate fortunate but able to get the side strike this should be getting the shield from my opponent and i'm going to go ahead and swap into that melmetal and we catch the charge move this was way too quick to be a flamethrower this is just going to be an ancient power and we're able to soak it right there and farmed no not farm down but they swap into the kyogre now we are back into this melmetal versus kyogre matchup but this time we have a two to one shield situation so i believe i decide to shield on this first one melmetal might be a winner for me here at the end they might have dialga in the back that's what i'm guessing so i need 
need to kind of save my Melmetal here. So we're just going to go ahead and throw Rock Slide, swap straight into Giratina Origin right here, start getting a head on energy, and then they swap into Dialga, which is perfect. We have Melmetal still. Togekiss is low. Kyogre has some loaded energy and is about half health. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this Shadow Ball right away. Chunks massive amount of health there from my opponent, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw an Ominous Wind. Guess what's up again, everyone? That's right, the Switch Clock. So what we're going to do is swap straight into our Melmetal right here and catch the Iron Head on the... Oh, man, this is its so much fun. If you guys are very, very good at swapping and catching charge moves, this is going to be your time to play. We are going to see that Kyogre come back in. They still have a shield, um, but we have a rock side right here, which is going to put a lot of pressure on them. They decided not to shield that, which is unfortunate for them. I'm going to go ahead, and I believe I decide to shield this Surf right here. Yeah, I do decide to shield. I can farm down with Thundershock. I still have Giratina Origin, and I'm just going to go ahead and go for a rock side here. Uh, actually, that yeah, I do need to go for a rock side against this Togekiss. The Togekiss was definitely the big threat that I had here, and if I do get a shield, I need to swap into Giratina Origin to farm down. They bring in the Dialga we farm down there and this is going to be so close everyone we get to the ominous wind in time versus the toe kiss were you guys able to keep up there I swapped I think like five or six times in that match a lot of fun right there still have all the Pokemon alive this 30 second thing is a blast all right moving into this next battle here Let's see how this goes. We have Melmetal on the lead versus Giratina Origin. Again, I don't like this lead matchup. I go straight into Giratina Origin Mirror, and we do see a Dialga come in. Now, we're going to go straight for that Shadow Ball, and we're going to hope that we can get to a Shadow Ball, an Ominous Wind, and then bail back into Melmetal. So let's see how this plays out. We're going to go ahead and throw that Shadow Ball right here. They shield. Okay, that's fine by me. We get a shield. I would have loved to be able to land um, the... Uh, the Shadow Ball right there, but I'm going to have to shield myself. What we're going to do now um, is we're going to go ahead and try to go for another Shadow Ball right here, and then we're going to swap into the Melmetal. I need to chunk a lot of health here from the Dialga or get double shield. So let's see what happens. We get double shields. I'm going to go ahead and go straight into my Melmetal now, start getting ahead on energy, and I'm anticipating them swapping, which is why I didn't throw the Superpower, because I was anticipating them catching it on a Giratina Origin. They decide to go for the Thunder right there, though, so I'm going to go ahead and let it go. We're going to go ahead and now go for a rock slide i need to be able to get to double rock slide right here and look to swap into mewtwo if i can in order to get a charge move so let's see we have a switch clock back up we're going to go for the double rock slide right here my own giratina origin is kind of low um i think it no i don't think it has any energy so i gotta go into the mewtwo right now start getting a head on energy and now we're going to have to shield ourselves. We have to watch out for that Shadow Ball, but it's most likely going to be an Ominous Wind, which it is. Now, they decide to bring in the Dialga, so I have to over farm right here and go for a Psy Strike. I want to make sure I can get to a Psy Strike versus the Giratina Origin if it's going to be a race to the charge move. So we are able to land it and then farm down. I'm very, very close to another charge move right here. And we're going to see a Melmetal come in. Everyone, get your booms ready. Mewtwo is blasting today. Here comes the Focus Blast and it's going to land. Boom! We are going to see the Giratina Origin come in, so I'm going to go ahead and swap into Melmetal to force them to have to use their energy, but we do get to the Rock Slide. Now, if they decide to undercharge this, which it should be an Ominous Wind, we can get that Rock Slide off. They did. We get the Rock Slide off. I actually think that might have been a normal... I, I think it was an undercharge. I don't know. It might be a normal excellent, but we get the Rock Slide off. We get it low enough. We have our own Giratina Origin. We have Mewtwo. So we're going to go ahead and bring in that Mewtwo two right here and that is going to be a good battle very well played what a roller coaster of battles today a lot of fun here we go moving into this next battle here we have melmetal on the lead versus dialga all right positive lead you love to see it it's tough to handle at some times because if they decide to stay in there what they're looking to do is land their thunder or their draco meteor after you throw a superpower so you want them to throw first but they're not so i'm gonna go ahead and just throw my superpower. Uh, I just need to start getting shields and health right now. And I will commit a shield on this Melmetal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just go for the double. And then if they shield, I might switch to Mewtwo. I believe I do right here. Um, so we get both shields. Yeah, I decide to switch to Mewtwo on the charge move. Now, going to go ahead and shield this. Obviously, they built up to a potential Draco Meteor. And it is just going to be an Iron Head Shield Bait, which is unfortunate. But we're just going to start loading up on energy. And they're going to go for another Iron Head right here. 
I'm not able, I'm not sure because this is my kind of first time fighting against Dialgas. Um, I don't really know its move count um, very well off of my own moves just yet, but I just want to throw a side strike right here to chip its health um, so that it's definitely within KO range, but they decide to stay in. So I'm going to go ahead and just swap into Melmetal on the next charge move, but they swap into Dragonite, which is very, very good for us. Um, this might be their only two counters to Giratina Origin, so I'm hoping for that. Now, Dragon Claw right here is going to be resisted, so I can definitely overload a bit on energy um, because I, this first Rock Slide will not take out the Dragonite. Even though it does super effective damage, it's not going to be enough to take it out, so I need to time this very, very caref carefully to make sure I have enough energy. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Rock Slide, but they swapped into Dialga on the Rock Slide, which is a beautiful call by them able to land it but then we're gonna go ahead and just go for another rock side right here remember i have mewtwo with a psy strike or at near a psy strike ready to go i still have giratina origin so we are gonna see the dragonite come back in here i believe i don't know actually i do and we're gonna swap right away and go straight for that psy strike catch the dragonite off guard land this unshielded psy strike to take it out and we'll have to see what the final pokemon is going to be it's going to be a Melmetal. Da, 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 da. We're just going to go ahead and start loading up on energy. And we're just going to go ahead and throw the Focus Blast. Granted, I think we would have won, obviously, with our own Giratina Origin. But I think they just kind of let me go. Because I think they could have taken me out right there. But boom! Takes out the Melmetal. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Okay. Moving into this next battle here. We have Melmetal on the lead versus Melmetal very tough one they have a shiny one too so a great flex by them um so what we need to do in this matchup is i don't like throwing first i like throwing second so i'm gonna go ahead and just over farm i also sneak a fast through um fast move through which is great i also don't like shielding the first one and it's just a rock slide which is perfect so what i'm gonna do now is throw a superpower this is either gonna land or get a shield which puts me at an advantage considering i'm the second one to throw it lands i swap straight into mewtwo to catch the charge move i'm thinking this is now gonna be a superpower because i threw superpower myself so we catch it on the mewtwo beautiful they're gonna bring in their giratina origin right here and this is what's great about mewtwo as well and Psy Strike does so much neutral damage, they have to respect it right here. So we're going to go ahead and throw that Psy Strike. They shield it, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and throw another one. And you guys see what's up. What's that? It's the Switch Clock. And then we're going to bail back into the Melmetal right here. Um, and then, yep, they double shield. So we bail into Melmetal. We're going to go ahead and go for Rock Side right here. Chip away some health. Save our Mewtwo just in case we need to one-shot something in the end like we like to do. We still have two shields, so things are looking good. Now... Melmetal right here. I'm going to need to shield. It has a lot of health and I can't trust on Giratina Origin to take this game for me. Um, so they are throwing back-to-back -back charge moves. Now, because they threw back-to-back, -back, this cannot be a Shadow Ball because you cannot throw two Shadow Balls back-to-back. -back, so it had to have been an Ominous Wind. Guess what's back? Switch Clock already. So we're going to go ahead and throw this Rock Slide right here. And they are very, very worried about switching, which tells me they're going to be weak to Melmetal. So I'm going to go ahead and swap my own Giratina Origin in and look to farm down. Why do I say they're um, being very weak to Melmetal. Well, they don't want to swap into a superpower, which tells me they probably have Dialga or they have Togekiss right here and they have Melmetal in the back. This is what's also great about Giratina Origin here is Shadow Ball just does so much damage. Look at that. It's an absolute monster and I can get to an Ominous Wind as well. Guess what? Switch Clock's back up. I don't need to stay in that fight. I'm going to bail right away. Overload on energy to make sure I have a superpower that I can beat that Melmetal too because it was energy dry. Notice how I'm dancing around with these Pokemon. It's so much fun. All right, we are going to see that Melmetal come in. We're going to go ahead and go for the superpower to basically one-shot it. And then there is the Giratina Origin, um, which is, I think, relatively low that we can handle. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and swap into our own Giratina Origin right here. And that is going to be a good game, very well played. Yeah, with this 30-second clock, everyone, take advantage of switching. It's it's so much fun. All right, Melmetal versus Mewtwo here on the lead. What you need to be concerned about is the Focus Blast, which you don't want to get hit with. Um, but they're deciding to stay in, which is fine with me. I'm going to go ahead and stay in as well. Now, I also need to be concerned. They also threw the fat charge me way too quick. It's not Focus Blast. I can let this go. It's just going to be a side strike, but it still hurts. So what we're going to do is just go for double Rock Slide right here. Um, I also need to be concerned about what could potentially be in the back, and it might be double steel. It might be um, like Dialga and Melmetal in the back. So I need to swap into Giratina Origin, start getting ahead on energy. We are going to see the Togekiss come in. 
So what do we know from this matchup? We know we can probably land a Shadow Ball that they're probably not going to shield. And we know we can swap back into Melmetal relatively soon and just keep a bunch of loaded energy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go for an Amos Wind. I want to force a shield on my opponent right here because obviously they want to try to charm down my Giratina Origin. So I get the shield, swap straight into Melmetal, and now go for the Rock Slide. This is going to be taking out Togekiss or getting the second shield. If it gets the second shield, I'll commit to that farm down. So we do land it. Beautiful. We still have two to one shields. We still have Giratina Origin. We have a Melmetal with a little bit of energy. I think one fast move. And we have Mewtwo still in the back. No, I had no energy right there. But Mewtwo is going to come in and go ahead and throw its charge move right away. This is going to be a side Strike. And I decide to shield it. Even though it is resisted. And I decide to swap into Giratina Origin as well. Start getting ahead on energy. And we are going to see a Giratina Origin mirror. But I do get to the Shadow Ball in time. This means this is going to get that final shield. Or it's going to land and do a lot of damage. But we do get the final shield. Okay. This game's not over. Giratina Origin is very tough to deal with, but we do have our own Mewtwo right here, which can land a Psy Strike. So we're going to go ahead and bring that in. Look to land that Psy Strike for neutral damage. Hopefully they don't swap. We're going to have to shield right here as well. I cannot get one shot um, with a um, Shadow Ball, and it is going to be an ominous win. So I go ahead and go for the Psy Strike. This is going to do a lot of neutral damage, and I might actually be able to swap into my own Melmetal and throw a Rock Slide. So I do swap in the Melmetal. I go ahead and throw the Rock Slide but it's going to be against the Mewtwo. But they did get a charge move as well, which is unfortunate. So this side strike is not going to be enough to take us out. We're going to go ahead and throw this rock side, and I'm going to undercharge it as well. Why? I'm going to do neutral damage with Thundershock, and I'm going to take in resisted damage from Psycho Cut, which means I can farm this thing down, hopefully, and be able to get to a rock slide versus the Giratina Origin in the back, which we can. Then we're going to swap into the Mewtwo and look to finish off if it has any health left. So we swap straight into Mewtwo, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. These games were so much fun. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice, but it's very, very fun. All right, so we got another Mel Metal Mirror right here on the lead. Again, I don't like throwing first, and I don't like shielding first, um, because if they decide to throw the superpower, I'll land a superpower or throw one right back at them. So they're going to go ahead and throw. It is going to be a superpower, which is unfortunate. It hurts, but that's fine. Now I throw my own. This is why. I'm going to be getting a shield from them, or they're going to get hurt even more. I do get a shield, so I'm going to swap straight into Mewtwo, but I can't. So now I'm going to have to shield myself. They are throwing their second charge move here, so we are going to shield that, and now we can build up a little bit, but they decide to go into Giratina Origin, which means I have to go into this mirror fight. It's unfortunate, but it's what I have to do. Rock Slide would not do enough damage. I'm debuffed. They could have farmed me down, so we have to go into the mirror. Now, they decided to throw Ominous Wind right away, so I didn't need to shield that at all because it wasn't a Shadow Ball. What we're going to do here is throw this Ominous Wind. We get a shield as well, which is beautiful, which means we can safely shield their charge move. We need to anticipate that they might swap as well. Our Switch Clock is back, but we also need to land the Shadow Ball. So we're going to overcharge a bit and throw the Shadow Ball right here. This is going to be taking out the Giratina Origin. We know they have Melmetal, but we also have energy ourselves. So we do land the Shadow Ball. We are going to see a Dialga now come in. So I'm going to go ahead and come into my own Melmetal, and I'm going to go for a double... Um, Superpower right here. This first one will not KO, but it's going to do a lot of damage. The second one will. And hopefully, I delay the switch clock long enough that I can come in with my Mewtwo and look to go for the Focus Blast right here. So we are going to try to load up on energy, and I'm also going to try to swap and keep my superpower, but I don't swap in time and I go down. This is not good. I have to time a Draco Meteor, and I don't know the count. And I'm like, wow, that was kind of quick. Um, is this going to be Draco Meteor? It is! Boom! I get one shot. That is unfortunate. My Giratina Origin now is going to go down as well. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. My only win condition right there was to basically um, throw the superpower and swap or catch um, the Draco Meteor on the Giratina Origin. But we have Palkia here on the lead. Kind of nice to see it on the lead as well, considering it would do pretty good against our Giratina Origin um, because of Dragon Breath damage. So we're just going to go ahead and let these Aqua Tails go through. It's not going to one-shot us. It's just going to do some chip damage, and we're going to be throwing Rock Slides now. I don't want to debuff myself with Super Power, even though it would also do neutral damage. And these Rock Slides are going to do enough chip damage that it is going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Super Power now. Um, but they decided to swap. Which works because I threw a superpower. So they're trying to catch a superpower. They're trying to catch a rock side, but they got a superpower to the face. So I will now be able to swap myself into my Giratina Origin to catch their superpower, right? 
but they played this very well and they actually threw a rock slide right there for neutral damage which is fine what i'm going to do here is considering that they're probably going to swap out at some point because of the switch clock and how low it is all i need to do is just not throw charge moves here against melmetal i need to bank energy because i know they're going to come back in and here they come here comes that palkion i'm just going to go ahead and throw this shadow ball right here this is going to one shot it if they decide not to shield but let's see what happens it does boom takes out the palkia we are going to see that melmetal come back in and i'm going to go ahead and throw this ominous wind right here this is going to put a lot of pressure on them to shield and i might also be able to swap into my own melmetal to try to catch the charge move but they shielded which is fine did not get the boost as well we're going to go ahead and let this go the rock slide doesn't take us out i'm going to swap into my own metal model right now and then i'm going to go ahead and throw a rock slide just before they get to a superpower right here knowing that the five thunder shocks will get to that superpower so the rock slide takes out the metal the final pokemon is going to be a landorus right here which is fine i can go ahead and throw rock slides for neutral damage because of that flying ground typing and we are looking very very good to close end game with mewtwo because of psy strike also also forcing them to use their energy and if this is rock slide i might be able to survive it and get off my own rock slide which i don't survive that's unfortunate but now i can bring in mewtwo right here all i need to do is go for double size strike and they will have to go for two rock slides and then one earth power if they throw an earth power first it's game over but they're probably just going to be going for double rock slides which i'm fine with because i know they don't have enough energy um, to beat me to two size strikes right so we're just going to go ahead and shield this next charge move. It's going to be another rock slide. So I know they're trying to race to that superpower, but they're not going to be able to get to it in time. I think they're two fast moves away um, or a bit more. It might be three or four, but we're going to go ahead and throw the side, double side strike right here. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played to my opponent. So this team, man, guys, this, this team was so much fun. Um, and that was the last battle as well. So good games to my opponents this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are having fun with that switch clock. If you guys are not, then this is a great time to learn about how to dance with Pokemon. Able to go on a 4-1 set right there. Had a lot of fun. This team was incredibly strong and we're climbing our way up the ranks. Um, also got a Flaffy right there. I forgot to edit this out, but that's okay. Um, we do get to 2403, so slowly working our way up, and we dove into the Master League Classic today, which was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this team and these battles. Are you guys enjoying the 30-second clock? And like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.